We are now in running clock mode, which you hate to see in a championship game. I personally would would love to see that not be the case in a championship game, especially because you've got guys like these that are out there now for the first time. Give them a chance to play. And I think at this point, both teams are going to empty their bench as Talbot and Dressler come out. And Martinson, Stutz, Shin, and Metz come out for the Crimson Knights. And it looks like CJ might be calling a timeout. I think he's wanted to let the referee know uh, to stop the running clock, maybe just like you mentioned, so yeah. that his players can get some, some playing time. Yeah, as a, as a former bench player, I spent plenty of time on the pine. And, and you don't want the clock running at this point. This is your one time to maybe get a basket in front of a big crowd. How many chances do some of these guys get? Obviously not many to play in a national championship game like this. Young man with the ball is Tanner Fike. He has it stripped by Cordell Davis. Kick out. Cordell has it. He's going to crank up a three, and it's no good. Rebound. That's a good look for that storm. young man. And they turn it over. I think that one may have been on purpose, ladies and gentlemen. And now they're going to look for Cordell. They let Cordell shoot another one. They fouled him. This is a pretty classy move by Oklahoma City. I do like this a lot. This is a really classy move as all smiles on the court, both Oklahoma City Storm and the Crimson Knights, as this young man, Cordell Davis, is going to get his chance to get some points in the undisputed national championship game. You got to love it. Everyone off of, their, off of their feet. Chance of Cordell in the background. There it and is. He sinks the first one, and this place erupts. Yeah. Mr. Davis, welcome to the national championship. Put his name in the book, ladies and gentlemen. Can't yeah. sink the second one. Yeah, He's upset one with more. himself. 80 to 47 is the score. And this is the neat thing about home school basketball right here. Hold on. Second one is good. First one is good. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> love it. And you gotta love the celebration there from Mr. Davis. Arms extended. And ladies and gentlemen, Oklahoma City is the national champion. But try and tell them that to Cordell Davis right now. A very special moment there. And I'm glad that we could end it that way. That's and what was an otherwise ugly game, Oklahoma City Storm win 80 to 48. But great heartfelt moment there to end it. And uh, it's been quite a year, Coach. It has. What a fun season. Homeschool basketball continues to get bigger and bigger and continues to draw more attention. And uh, though this championship game might not have been as tight as some of the ones in history's past, the tournament as a whole was a pretty exciting one. And a lot of teams are going to the offseason trying to see how they can improve to get to this floor next year, a year from now. The Oklahoma City Storm have won three straight national championships. Congratulations to Coach Talbot and his boys. It is not easy to run it wire to wire as the favorite, but they've done a spectacular job of doing just that. Paul Gilmore and I have really enjoyed calling this game for you. Again, stay tuned for the opportunity to watch the regional and All-American games as well at the three-point shootout. And we have another special moment here as we close out the broadcast. Players meeting at half court and another standing ovation for Mr. Cordell Davis. And coach, you mentioned it. This is something really special with homeschool basketball. I don't think you'd see this in a public school setting. Yeah, well, it's, it's just special all the way around. But I think the family camaraderie of homeschool basketball is what makes it so cool. A lot of these teams here, uh, they stay here all week long. They see each other in the hotel uh, hallways and uh, at the different gyms, and uh, kids are quick to come up to you, even after you've played a tough game against them, and just say, hey, congratulate you. Come out and cheer for your team after you've battled them all year long. And that's what is pretty neat, is that uh, the homeschool uh, community is a tight one, and uh, I think most of the families that come out to Nationals for the first time see just how special it is.